Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, join me, Rob McConnell, as together we'll investigate the world of the paranormal and the science of parapsychology here on the Exxon Radio TV show on XZBN and the Exxon TV channel on Simul TV. Since 1990, the Exxon Radio TV show has been the place where people dare to believe and dare to be heard. Together, we'll investigate UFOs, aliens, ghosts, Bigfoot, psychic phenomena, lake monsters, conspiracy theories, government cover-ups, the truth embargo, alien abductions, ESP, haunted locations from around the world, and so much more. With over 28 years of broadcasting and more than 4,500 individual guests, the Exxon is truly a place where fact is fiction and fiction is reality, as evidenced by the credibility, integrity, and professionalism of the guests that we bring to our international audience. If you have seen a UFO, had a close encounter, seen a ghost, Bigfoot, lake monster, or a story that you would like to share or have investigated, contact me, Rob McConnell, by sending me your email to xzone at xzoneradiotv.com or you can call toll-free 1-800-610-7035, extension 143, and on Skype, Exxon Radio TV. For more information on the Exxon Radio TV show with yours truly, Rob McConnell, visit www.exxoneradiotv.com or www.exxonetvchannel.com or simultv.com and xzbn.net. Until next we meet here in the X-Zone from our broadcast center and studios in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Always remember X-Zone Nation. Keep your eyes to the sky and your heart in the light. The X-Zone Radio Show with Rob McConnell is largely an opinion talk show. All opinions, comments, or statements of fact expressed by Rob McConnell's guests are strictly their own and are not to be construed as those of the Exxon Radio Show or endorsed in any manner by Rob McConnell, Relmar McConnell Media Company, the Exxon Broadcast Network, its affiliated networks, stations, employees, or advertisers. All hit radio. To the X Zone, a place where fact is fiction and fiction is reality. Now, here's your host, Rob McConnell. It's another night here in the Exxon. I am Rob McConnell, and we're coming to you from our broadcast center and studios in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Now, if you'd like to send me an email, exxon at exxonradiotv.com on all social media sites, Exxon Radio TV. And if you'd like to see the broadcast schedule for the Exxon Broadcast Network, it's 724-365. Visit www.xzbn.net. And for the Exxon TV channel... On Simul TV, visit www.simultv.com. Exo Nation, my guest this hour is Hassan Jaffer, and he is an astrologer in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Two websites, astrotrends.net and letkidsdream.org. And welcome back, Hassan. It's been a long time, my friend. Hi, Rob. It's so nice to hear from you. And Moon has just gone to Aries and... Your energy is all over there. Oh, wow. That's good to know because I can use some energy <laughs> these days. Listen, Hassan, and you, you. And, you and I have talked many times over the years about astro trends, but your new website, letkidsdream.org, tell us about that. I gave out 460 projects in the last five years. Mm-hmm. To, <clears throat> excuse me. You know, to, uh, first of all, to find the highest potential of the children and the youth. Right. And and to compare the charts with all the musician, musicians and artists and scientists from that, but also for autism, for mental problems. There, and this became very, very important just on the 18th of May. 
when a girl who was 28 years old and she jumped from the 51st floor right downtown Toronto mm. to death. Absolutely fantastic animator. And I looked at a chart. She was a Scorpio. The, the, the last degree of full moon. In fact, I can actually tell when she jumped at 920 is the last degree of Scorpio. And, uh, uh, and also at the same time, <clears throat> she had all these Capricorn planets, which is, the, which is the iron deficiency quite often, but also when people are, you know, have this depression. But mm -hmm. so uh, in, on my site, I want to have the parents being uh, able to go there, all the children, all the youth, everybody can just go there, all, all free of charge, it's all nonprofit, and uh, they'll be able to see when they are in success and how to offset the theme, what to do about it. All right. Now, when you say you, you, you know, you've given so many projects, what, what does a project consist of? Uh, to, to find, you know, the, the, the underlying, all, all, it's all the research aspect. First of all, to develop all the astrology programs and mm -hmm. all, uh, what are the aspects. For example, if somebody has moon Saturn aspect in their chart, right. so we know that they have the, the weak eyesight, the low blood pressure, low metabolic rate. They have the, 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 there's a certain emotional toughness about them. And it's an excellent thing to have if you're a dictator, for example, and you're a cruel person or something, or an athlete. Top athletes are like that. They're very cruel with themselves. They keep on going long after they feel that they, they should be sleeping at that time. And uh, so they, they push themselves beyond normal. That's a moon Saturn aspect. So they're both positive and negative things. But I also found people are gardeners who are some of the best sculptors. They were born with that. So any when you touch that earth, somehow it offsets it when you're alone but not feeling lonely, but also the lack of iron. So if you just take one spoon of uh, you know liquid iron, that seems to help that a lot. So those are type of things. So it's, it's the astrological research part. Okay, so I so well, what is the difference between astro trends, which is your your site that I've talked about for so many years, and let kids dream? Uh, let kids dream is basically uh, I, I don't really I mean there is a certain aspect of genetic astrology and all that mm -hmm. aspect, but uh, uh, the the astro trends is all astrology, right? But the let kids dream we're using astrological principles, but it's all about Alzheimer's and uh, uh, dementia or the geniuses and savants. We are discussing. Uh, all the people with a massive databases in it, and Microsoft and IBM and all these people are giving us thousands of dollars worth of services. Mm -hmm. which, uh, some of that I'm not even using, like Azure and all that we are using that, but like uh, Salesforce, the email marketing, they gave me like 10 likes of $2,000 each, like $20,000. I'm not even using mm -hmm. that yet, but uh, so what we are doing is the reason we have put the donation there will be coming out to the corporate nation is mainly because of research, just my programmers, because the programmers are, are, are very expensive, actually, and there's some... Um, and there's certain, like, you know, in the neural pathways, like one of the programs that I developed in my, uh, you know, there's uh, one of the program of, uh, it's like an astral life coaching. We call it astral life, uh, I mean, astral calendar. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's more than just that. There are like 50 different apps in there. And one of the things that people can do, they can find, when they subscribe to it, they can find what, they, uh, what they've inherited from each parent. There's apathy, nothing in medicine, in genetics. Nobody in the world can say that. Only astrology can say that, and none of the astrologers have done that. So in my case, you can you can put your father's uh, uh, birth date, your mother's birth date, mm -hmm. and and it'll immediately tell you what part. Like for example, if there's an artist, then there, there's a connection between the brokerage region and the visual cortex in the brain. Those are the type of things uh, that, that I've been able to evaluate from the last few years. And there is absolutely nothing in neurology at all. Like it, uh, so, I'm just waiting for another about like six months. Then we'll mm -hmm. uh, present all the papers. So that, uh, and that's one of the reasons why I stay away from the psychic aspect of anything that they could just say, oh, the person is more into the psychic aspect or anything. This is pure science. <clears throat> All right. But, but, it, but is astrology considered a science? Well, the, at, at my caliber, you know, the, the thing that we do is, I mean, it's just uh, undeniable, the, mm -hmm. the things in it. I mean, I'm not talking about the sun sign astrology. Right. But uh, the, the variations we have found, and it's nothing to do with the constellation of the background at all. Now, I just happen to be in the 13th constellation of the God, you know, that God of wisdom, but luckily I'm not an egocentric person or something. It all has to do with the 21st March being the, the uh, you know, when the sun's apparent path and the, and the earth's path crosses. That 21st March is a zero degree Aries. That's it. And it keeps on just moving. And uh, we divide that whole thing into 12, uh, uh, you know, uh, signs of 30 degrees each when we call them signs. The constellations in the background have nothing to do with it. The Indian people are using still that old uh, system with the constellations, mm -hmm. but they coincide with the signs. And uh, all they have to do with, uh, you know, if they take what they call this Ayanamsa, which is a, uh, the precession of the equinox, so all right. the Indian people are listening, all the astrologers, they should make that instead of 22 uh, degrees or something, just make a zero degree. 
it'll be the original Indian system, which is quite good actually. You you mentioned when you were uh, when I was talking to you about um, letkidsdream.org. You said that you you mentioned Alzheimer's, and I didn't know that Alzheimer's could be applied to a child. Oh, uh, you know when you, when uh, as soon as a child is born, you see certain mm-hmm. aspects there. And there are, there are certain elements of that one. And even the genius, for example, every genius seems to have some other Aquarius planets or Mercury, Uranus aspect, or Aquarius in the third house. There are different variations of it. So that's why, and my, my genetic astrology thing, uh, which you can find on the letkidsdream.ca.org.com.net, mm-hmm. all of them. And <clears throat> you'll see that you can actually, under, under genetic astrology thing, that what the child is inherited from each parent, so you can immediately see and this will, is going to help the, the scientific community, I think, a lot. And what the causes, underlying causes and all that, you know. So will parents be able to, for example, if, if you do the chart and you say the child is prone to Alzheimer's later on in life, how can that be changed? Well, I wouldn't really say like that, actually. You know, that one, uh, you know, uh, but if the person has that aspect, we can see mm-hmm. what they've inherited from, what could, and because they get, there are so many different things in it, you know. So uh, I right. try to focus more on the highest potential. When they're the, mo- the most important thing right now is all the suicide rate mm-hmm. and the mental problem that people are having. Every time there is that shooting, there is that moon in uh, Capricorn, a moon in Saturn. You see the whole world right now. Right. Pluto is in the sign of Capricorn right now. And when that happened, from the, uh, the whole manufacturing industry and all that, mm-hmm. you know, you know how it uh, affects you. But it's a very dry, it's very government controlled, and uh, so all that that happens. So mm-hmm. that part is a very, very important theme, unfortunately, uh, you know, in this world which is happening. Yeah. The other theme is, uh, at the same time, you've got Neptune, the sign of Pisces, so 2023 mm-hmm. or so, where the crowdfunding, so people are becoming extremely humanitarian. Right. But it's a very dry, like Saturn is in Capricorn, Pluto is in Capricorn. And Jupiter will go into Capricorn from October onwards. So the whole world is becoming very sort of corporate type. And people who are born from the 80s and 90s, they all have uh, some, uh, some of those Capricorn aspects. So the emotional security part is missing. So would you say that this is an annex to astrology, or is this a, ba- a very basic part of astrology that hasn't been incorporated in the past? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, the uh, um, <clears throat> are, are you talking about the... I'm talking about uh, your your newest venture, Let Kids Dream. Oh, right, right. Yes, no. It's just just usage of astrology in in a very mm-hmm. unique way. I see. That's what I'm doing, you know, because nobody has done this actually. Like for example, you know, there, there's one day, uh, or I should say about three days, when the sun makes an aspect to your natal Venus, and that uh, on on uh, about uh, six or seven months in mm-hmm. the year, just like your birthday, always comes back on the same day. There are about ninety different events that happen exactly the same day. Uh, all your life. All right, Hassan, we're going to have to take a commercial break. Please stand by. Exonation, Hassan Jaffer is our special guest this hour. He's an astrologer based in Toronto, Ontario. And if you'd like to find out more about Hassan, two websites, astrotrends.net and um, letkidsdream.org. And Hassan and I will be back on the other side of this commercial break as we continue here in the Exon from our broadcast center and studios in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. I'm Rob McConnell. Don't go away. It's hard to listen to the news without realizing we're living in volatile, unprecedented times. Yet never has there been such an opportunity to transform the human condition. As old structures fail, where can we find the guidance to co-create a better way? Find Your Path Home is an ever-evolving, leading-edge information, education, and healing resource center designed to support and guide you on your path to unity and enlightenment. Based on sound principles employed by Shaman Worldwide, we provide techniques that can support you through the current transitions, offering online shamanic classes, 
international long-distance shamanic healing sessions, complimentary Mission Evolution radio episodes and Stairway to Heaven TV vignettes, seminars, retreats, and much more. All of this can be found on findyourpathhome.com. So I was watching the X-Zone TV channel last night when I was abducted by aliens and they kept repeating to me over and over again, simultv.com, simultv.com. What's simultv.com? That's what I asked them. They had it written on the side of their UFO. How do you spell that? UFO. No, I mean simultv.com. S-I-M-U-L-T-V.com. S-I-M-U-L-T-V.com. Right. S-I-M-U-L-T-V.com. Interesting that you were abducted by aliens in a simultv.com UFO last night. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Now that you mention it, I remember now last night I was awakened from a deep sleep. My great-grandmother was standing there. She said she'd come from the hereafter to tell me about simultv.com. She even spelled it out for me. S-I-M-U-L-T-V.com, sonny boy. S-I-M-U-L-T-V.com. S-I-M-U-L-T-V.com, sonny boy. Wow. Yeah. Guys, you'll never guess what my psychic guru just told me. SIMULTV.com. Exactly. Are you guys psychic too? Of course. We all know about SIMULTV.com. SIMULTV.com. www.astrotrends.net and www.letkidsdream.org are the two websites for our guest this hour, Hassan Jaffer, and he is an astrologer based in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And uh, Hassan, how did you get involved or how did you get started as an astrologer? What was the draw? Uh, (laughs) You know, I was actually an engineer by profession Mm -hmm. and uh, at the age of 19, I actually, I graduated about 18 and a half, but I also went to... Bengal and install like 15, uh, I mean, uh, uh, nine coal storages of 1,500 tons each. We were the sole distributors for the entire Middle East, for Honeywell, for Dunnebush and all that. Mm-hmm. But I lost my mother when I was born, and that's the reason I always used to uh, to understand. You know, I felt that if something so precious to the mother's sure. love is divine, denied, there must be something, I must be somebody very special. Mm-hmm. So I always yeah, used to try to find the answers for that aspect, and I got into astrology. And uh, so, and, and I found absolute truth in it. Like people like Kep- Kepler and and Taco Brahe and all that. When I saw their thing, and it was absolutely incredible, the work that they did. And it's so, so predictable. So what I've done is I, I started this Astro, uh, this Astro Calendar, one of the subscription thing that we have. Mm-hmm. It's only like $5 a month, like a $6 a year. So it's not uh, much at all. So I, because I want, And I keep adding all kinds of fantastic programs in it. And uh, it makes you like an astrologer literally in about five minutes. Like when you open that aspect, you'll, you'll be able to see, and it's so visual now with the new technology. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. you know, I spent thousands and thousands of dollars on, on like my original site cost me almost $25,000, Astro Trends. Right. It was old, I've actually, then to make a new one and all that, I had to pay all kinds. Now it's much, much cheaper to do these things, even though the program is still cost like 45 to $55 an hour at some of the, uh, you know, top quarters. But uh, the technology has changed a lot, so you have to make it responsive and all this aspect, you know. I just want to do the, the contents and all that. So we are almost, almost there with, with that aspect now. As an astro- I'm, I'm sorry. As an astrologer, uh, what, are, what are some of the highlights in your career? Like, I know you've been on Larry King and, and you've done some other great media. Uh, what would yeah. you consider to be one of your highest accomplishments, not media-based, but I mean on a personal basis with, with the people that you've done astrological charts for? You know, uh, there's one of my clients uh, uh, who said, uh, you know, uh, when I started this uh, uh, Let Kids Dream, one of the reasons mm-hmm. I also started that, and he said, son, I, I have somebody in Bahamas, and uh, uh, th- there's this kid who's only like 17 years old, but I think he has a lot of potential. I really believe in him, and I want you to see his chart. So I had a look at his chart. I said, it's a very obsessive chart. He said, yes, his mother died of drug, a- drug, a drug addiction, mm-hmm. and he's into drugs and all that also, but I think you can help him. So uh, after some, I said, well, you know, whenever he's on the line, just let me know. So after some time, this other person who was sponsoring that fellow and all, he called me. He said, son, he's on the line. And I mean, he's here. You know, can you talk to him? And I was with, uh, you know, I have about 22 programmers all around the world. I've got three computers with three keyboards. I'm, I'm working with three computers <laughs> simultaneously all the time. I told them all, please hold it for some time. I spoke to him. I said, uh, uh, I'll just take a picture of his name. I said, Leroy. I just want you to know that uh, I'm extremely busy right now, but I saw your chart, 
and because I had this uh, his, his birthday they, they had given me, I said, it's such, such a fantastic. I just want you to know that you are much more important to me, not just for yourself, but what we can do for all the youth out there. Because I really feel that you can do something. Because they have told me that you are lazy, you, you hate to just work and all the type of thing. But I saw your chart as being very self-oriented. You're not a lazy person at all. If you had your own business, you, you, you'd, you'd work like a workaholic. You, are, mm-hmm. you would become like a workaholic. And in fact, you'll need to become moderate because you like, to, you like to be your own boss. That's the first thing. So I really want to arrange something for that. It has to be something with the earth. Even if it's landscaping and all that, we start with that. The second thing is the obsessive theme. I said, my chart is like a worst drug addict you've ever seen. And I've never taken a drop of alcohol in my life. I have actually no idea what beer tastes like, what champagne tastes like. But everything I do is an obsession. I play almost every musical instrument. I have a black belt in taekwondo. I, I apply planes. Uh, everything or, or my perfumes like these are the, the so the obsession mm-hmm. is beyond your control i said every successful person is usually born with a very obsessive theme it's not a disease it's part of the aspect of, of people who, who achieve something in life so but how you direct it is your free choice how you sublimate it and i really feel that you can do that and and this fellow was he was very very quiet he had mercury and capricorn didn't say much uh, at all so uh, after about like 15, 20 minutes, I told my partner, I said, please get him something to do with landscaping and all that. That's the first thing. And they got him the same week. Do you know, in about two weeks time, I got a call and said, hey, Hassan, this is data. I just want to tell you, I want you to be the first person to know that I've 100 percent have given up my drugs and I've got my own thing now. I'm doing this landscaping. He was a completely changed person. I said, I'm going to dedicate one uh, uh, thing completely on the Let Kids Dream just for you. And I'm going to be, I'm, because you're going to be an example to all the other people and what you do for that. That is, to me, the mo- uh, more important than all the kings and queens that I've met. Um, so how do you get this information? How, what, on what is the, this information based on? I understand well, I found, it's based see, on... I'm very much into neuroscience also, but not just the amygdala and all that. For example, the opiate receptors mm-hmm. you know, uh, the, yeah, in the brain. So uh, maybe they're more pronounced for some people, but I can identify them. No neurologist can ever do that. Because, you know, they have no idea where to look and what to do because uh, uh, we, we can see from a chart instantly if somebody has a Mars-Neptune aspect, Neptune is all the creative things. Mm-hmm. When you combine Mars to it, it, adds, uh, it makes, can make it a cult, uh, depending on the type of aspect, it's positive or negative, but it's an obsessive theme. Right. It adds a physical obsession. If you add just moon and Neptune, it makes a person an artistic person or a lot of empathy and compassion, like an escapist tendency. You're watching TV, you cannot let go. Mm-hmm. But, it, but the obsessive theme, that's dangerous, the Mars-Neptune. That needs physical outlets. Some of the best top athletes are born with that because Mars is a physical energy, like an Aries theme, and Neptune is a coordination of it. So some of the best dancers, Bereshnikov and Pele, these type of people, swimmers, gymnasts, they are born with that. So one of the things was a collection of data of all the successful people in this thing, then take these isolated aspects and compare with that. It's a, it's a, I mean, it's a one-man thing that I've done, you know, but using all these coders, but it's incredible. I didn't really realize, you know, just about a month ago, I was looking at all the uh, stuff that I'm doing uh, to take on a different uh, virtual server mm-hmm. and on a VPS. And I realized, you know, it'll take a lifetime just to put all these things together. I said, I, I, like, I wrote 150 books. I published 12. I said, I, I better start, you know, uh, publishing these rather than uh, writing more. There's a lot of work to be done, but we are getting, luckily with the, with the technology available, now that we are, it's almost, almost to the level that I, I need. If this is so successful and you're able to tell so much, why isn't the medical community clamoring to this and asking you to teach them the, the principles so that they can help more people? Uh, the, the medical community, I don't think will be able to help as much as the scientists. But first of all, we've got to prove to them. We've got to show them all the data and everything. Mm-hmm. And, uh, uh, you know, the, and, and we haven't really approached them yet. I'm sure they'll be quite receptive to it. And many of the doctors, uh, I'm talking about the people at the Ph.D. level. Uh, you know, it's interesting, my own niece, when she was born, I told my twin sister that, you know, she'd be very good in life sciences, especially neurosciences. Mm-hmm. She got a PhD in neurosciences now. But they are more into the amygdala and all the different parts rather than the mind. I'm interested in the working of the mind. Like, you know, I used to, I used to be very hard on people who were always feeling depressed. I said, my God, look up, look at that Jupiter out there in Venus. It's such mm-hmm. an amazing miracle of nature. Can't you be happy? Then I realized that if you are born with a moon, Saturn aspect of something, you have that ingredient of that depression. So some people are actually born with that. The whole chemistry is different. Like you and I are basically very, very positive person. You have Mercury in Aries, I have Mercury in Sagittarius. They're both like fire signs. 
So it's, it's one of the aspects, that's in fact one of the aspects of dep uh, the antidote for depression. You know, I wrote these 12, uh, the 12 essential needs, how to lead a balanced life. And uh, the first theme was, uh, uh, you know, action. For example, the second one is the stability and then the need for communication, then emotional security, ego gratification. But the number one, three, and five themes, in, I mean, one, five, and nine things were uh, something to do, something to be proud of, and philosophy and travel. Three things, you'll never, ever be depressed. And that's it. You just need some action, whether it's sports or driving a car, driving a bicycle, walking, any action. You won't find people who are depressed doing activity. So that's the first thing they need. Then second thing is, uh, sometimes people feel really sorry or, uh, you know, as if it's not worth it. But everybody has some area, but there's a Leo theme in that chart, whichever area it is, where you feel proud. Like in my case, I could be driving Bentleys and Ferraris or living in a palace. It means absolutely nothing to me, as opposed to a little tiny bit of truth, because Leo is part of my ninth house. Same as Leonardo da Vinci. And so uh, uh, the, the ninth house represents the highest aspect of truth and philosophy. So uh, regardless of where it is in your chart, you have that element. There's some, uh, something which gets you high. I literally forget to eat or sleep when I'm into that truth aspect. And the third thing, of course, what we are doing right now when you are discussing the miracles of nature, anything which has divine origin, because mm -hmm. what we are discussing is not man-made. All right. But once again, I, I'm having a hard time understanding if all this can be done using astrology and, and there's so much good that can be that can be, you know, acquired you, you from know, an you wait, know, wait, a sec, wait 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 a sec. If if all this can be acquired, why more people don't look at astrology as something very serious instead of a pseudoscience? Well, the thing is, it's very hard to do what I'm doing. You'll need to develop your own programs that are not mm -hmm. uh, available. So, uh, and to manipulate those programs in the way that you want them, it's very, very costly and very time consuming. You really have to be much more than a normal scientist, totally, totally dedicated. Like Kepler, for example, you know, they, they said that the, the Tycho Brahe was off by about 20 minutes or so. It's a very slight deviation in Mercury. He said, my master could not be wrong. He spent 20 years and finally formulated the laws of, uh, laws of, of, of the retrograde motion. That type of dedication is what you need here. All right, uh, stand by, Hassan. You and I have to take our news break at the bottom of the hour. Explanation, Hassan Jaffer is our guest. Astrotrends.net and letkidsdream.org. And we'll be back on the other side of this news break. Don't go away. here and they've been here for thousands of years making their presence known in the shadows they might be seen by a lonely motorist on a deserted road late at night or by a frightened and confused husband in the bedroom he is sharing with his wife but who are they what do they want why are they here perhaps most concerning has the government been aware of their presence all along the new book by Eli Marzulli, UFO Disclosure, The 70-Year Cover-Up Exposed, delves into the world of UFOs. Can full disclosure be soon? Order now and receive a free hour and 37-minute DVD on the UFO phenomenon, UFOs Are Real. Get both the book and the DVD, a $40 value, for only $19.99. To order your book and DVD today, go to lamarzuli.net. That's L-A-M-A-R-Z-U-L-L-I.net. Rob McConnell here, presenting an overview for Nicholas Paul Jinnix, author of a fascinating book, Amen. It presents facts revealed by Egyptologists, facts that enable us to understand why Amen is the beginning of creation of God. It provides recommendations for religious leaders of the major religions to unify their beliefs and teach the Word of God, love one another. Amen informs people how mankind conceived God, it was the Egyptians that developed the concepts of a soul, a hereafter, and son of God. And finally, after the worship of many gods, 
they conceived the belief in one universal God, the maker of all there is. For more information, visit www.futureofgodamen.com. That's www.futureofgodamen.com. You have heard of the X Zone? Now watch it on Simo TV, plus 500 video games, live TV channels, free video on demand, worldwide, and more. Does this sound like tomorrow's television? Well, it is, but you can have it today, right now. It is Simo TV. Simo TV offers what the others only wish they could provide 15 exclusive channels like X Zone, Sci Fi, and Horror. We are worldwide. No other provider offers that. 500 built-in video games. No need to have an extra expensive system. We have them included. Free video on demand. Live streaming events from around the world. Interactive online network and much more. Tomorrow's TV today. Simul TV. Sound too good to be true? Well, it's not. You can have Simul TV today. Sign up at simultv.com. Do it today. We're talking about astrology uh, tonight, this hour here in the Exxon. Our guest is Hassan Jaffer. And if you'd like to find out more about Hassan, astrotrans.net. And letkidsdream.org. Hassan, what is the history of astrology? When did it start? And, and how did all this information become available to, to the you astrologers to of, of so many years ago when they really didn't have the means to understand the planets, the solar systems, and the stars? That's true. I, I personally feel that uh, this whole thing started about um, almost like uh, uh, but between four and five thousand years ago, mm-hmm. when the North Star instead of Polaris used to be the Drake uh, uh, in the Draco, the the dragon. Right. That's why there's so much of the dragon, the Chinese things, and all that. I'm sure that's why. I see it. But I'm also sure that uh, you know it's like the, some of the greatest prophets to whom these laws were revealed, because to actually write these rules is extremely, extremely difficult. And I'm one of the best in the world. If I'm saying this aspect, you know, like it takes a long time just to come up with one little tiny thing. It's such an amazing uh, aspect, aspect out there. But I think one of the reasons why the ancients were so good at it is because they looked at the moon much more. The moon, like, for example, the moon only mm-hmm. takes 28 days to complete, 28 to 29 days to complete this whole cycle. So you can actually see every time moon is in the 12th house, people feel extremely run down and tired. Like, uh, for example, uh, Rajiv Gandhi was assassinated under that transit. Uh, Sylvester Stallone's son killed himself. Uh, um, Amy Winehouse killed herself on that transit. So you can actually you tell every time it was the eighth house, you always get money, always. Every time I want discounts, if I call Rogers, I'll call when it was in my eighth house. It is so interesting. You ask more, ninety percent of the astrologers wouldn't even know that, and mm-hmm. every one of my clients who subscribes to Astro Canada knows it. So from there, you take the same thing with Jupiter. Jupiter is a twelve-year cycle, but it stays for one and a half years in each house rather than two and a half days. Uh, uh, and so similarly, you can see all these things in a visual way. It's uh, completely artistic. It's colors. So I've given it, uh, uh, you know, the practical application of knowledge I've given. You know, at a world level, it's really interesting you know, to understand. Before we understand ourselves, what we are living uh, through, uh, there is some uh, there's some very dangerous technologies uh, coming up now. It's like a hyper realistic face generator. I don't know if you you know if you go to a, there's a site for that. You know, like this face does not exist dot com. When you go there. Each time you refresh, it'll be a new new page, and they're all fake. Can you imagine if they're using for, uh, I don't know what they call it, catfishing or whatever, you know, that you put anything. I mean, that's very, very dangerous technology. Same thing you can say a president, uh, you, you have this broadcast, whether you can make the president say anything you want. Mm-hmm. You can have one image of Marilyn Monroe and have a laughing and saying and all that. You know, that, That's the technology we're headed towards. And this is all that Capricorn theme with no soul, no emotions, no etiquette, a pure... Uh, and how we can capitalize on it, how we can make money from that. That's all that Capricorn theme. But this whole thing is changing after about 25, when Pluto moves in the sign of Aquarius. It's such a beautiful aspect, uh, you know, that will be coming up. That's when you'll see the new technology and all that. Uh, There's also a brief period from uh, um, about 25. I would say from January 26, it becomes uh, very strong. It goes completely into Aquarius. But it starts from uh, 20. 
2023. But this Neptune and Pisces, which is, you know, which gave all these uh, spiritual and occult and mystical nature, the deep insights in that. Mm -hmm. Many global charities started with that Neptune and Pisces and uh, crowdfunding, GoFundMe, all the holography and 3D would become uh, very popular. So this will uh, continue for several years still. But I think one of the most practical era of the high tech the near, uh, the, and the virtual world, all these things will be from 2020 onwards. From March 2020, Saturn moves in the sign of Aquarius, which is practical, inventive ideas. Then again from July and again from December, it becomes uh, uh, you know quite solid for uh, about two years so, uh, in December 2020. So that's when you will see the beginning of that March 2020, all the inventive ideas, but some amazing, amazing stuff coming up. Now, Jupiter is right down the sign of Sagittarius, which is one of the most philosophical aspects. And, of course, there's, uh, there's this uh, big uh, company. They put in like $2 billion in, in astrological dating and all kinds of things. And, but Jupiter in Capricorn, it goes from end of this year for about one year. That's when this, this world order thing and all that would be at its maximum. But when Jupiter moves in the sign of Aquarius, that's, the, uh, that's from um, about end of uh, 2020, for about one year, all the humanitarian aspect and the mass communication, the 3D TV would be absolutely fantastic that time. You know, you, you mentioned Pluto. Now, the fact that Pluto has been downgraded from a planet, does that actually affect an astrological chart? Uh, to, to, to me, it doesn't because the thing, it has nothing to do with the, with the, with the physical aspect of it. Mm -hmm. How it can affect, uh, you know, the, the Earth's magnetic field is being influenced by the, by the sun. Right. And as these planets carry it at a certain angle, it changes it. The geomagnetism is constantly changing. And there's a whole science that NASA has started in heliobiology that is irrefutable how, you know, all the, 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 um, the wars that happen and how the, these cyclic things that happen with the sunspots and all that is such an amazing thing. So what, what does the rest of the year 2019 hold for the international scene, astrologically speaking, that is? Well, the four signs where, who are going through a major seven-year cycle, mm -hmm. the sign of Aries, the sign of Cancer, the sign of Libra, and the sign of Capricorn. So these four signs are going to cut some major aspects, like they'll, they'll encounter a lot of delays, but it's a test of their organizing skills. This is the time they have to think for the next seven years what they want to do. Mm. It gives more responsibilities, and people tend to run away from responsibilities. Say, I personally don't like all this, uh, you know, uh, getting a lot by doing nothing, like in gambling and all that. I sure. love the achievement. I love the hard work and the accomplishment that you get from that rather than easy routes. That is what they're going through, these four signs. So Aries, Cancer, mm -hmm. uh, Capricorn, and uh, Libra. These four signs are going through that. There are some very positive things happening with Jupiter being the sign of Sagittarius also, on, uh, the two Aries, uh, Gemini, Leo, Libra, Sagittarius, and the sign of Aquarius. So are these going to be good times politically or hard times? They're very positive aspect for them, and it, it's just like being like a Sagittarius. See, each, each planet has that mm -hmm. element about they become more philosophical, they travel more or uh, from foreign countries and all that, or anything which has to do with mass communication. Like this is a fantastic year for you. For it's a major news cycle, just in your case also, and anyone who has Mercury in Aries, for uh, whether it's a satellite theme or uh, your magazine becoming uh, different, for example, but somehow the collection of that with the more databases or connecting with anything which increase that knowledge at a global level. So it's fantastic as for mass communication right till about October of this year. So let's say somebody gets their astrological chart from you and they see something in their chart they don't like. How can they change it? Um, well, there's always a way to offset the theme. You see, three things are destined in astrology, mm -hmm. even if the person is a prophet. Okay. And, uh, for example, if I was Abraham's astrologer, Prophet Abraham, and I, and I said, Prophet Abraham, you're going to sacrifice your son. I'd be 100% correct, totally blasphemous, didn't happen. But if I said, Prophet Abraham, you'll go to the experience of sacrificing your son. When it, uh, and also, if I told him when it'll happen mm -hmm. and how long will it last, all three things would have been 100% correct because here he was blindfolded, goes through the whole experience. Afterwards, he gets the revelation from God that, yes, we made the interpretation of your dream come true, oh, see, but yeah. change the act. So in other words, that the, the, the timing, all that is there. Mm -hmm. uh, there can be just a vicarious experience. Like one of the things which I would do, for example, to avoid war, let's say all the television stations got together and they just have a, uh, you know, as if uh, it's a real something happening, but it doesn't really happen. So you offset the theme. Similarly, for example, in your dream, 
let's say you're, um, you know, you win a million dollars in your dream, mm -hmm. then you won't win it in real time because you've already gone through the experience. So if something negative happens in your dream, it's actually very positive for you because it's not going to happen in real time. But if something positive happens for you in your dream, then, then, then you it lost won't... that. <laughs> you lost that. Yes. Well, I'd ra I'd rather lose a million dollars in a dream and actually gain it. <clears throat> you, I mean, you that oh, you, you, that, that you lose it in your dream. I yeah. Mean, yeah. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. So we are destined for these themes, mm -hmm. and how we, uh, you know, do all kinds of actions to satisfy those themes because we are all born with these themes. Right. Like in your case, you see, there's a pioneering, there's a leadership aspect. Like in your case, you have Mercury, the sign of Aries, like Einstein, like, uh, but Hitler also had that. Uh, let's not argue, let's do it my way. But uh, uh, also, Leonardo da Vinci, he was also born with the same. It's a pioneering theme. Mm -hmm. It's like, a, uh, like Einstein, somebody asked him, what was his genius? He said, the only thing I can say is that I kept asking questions like a child all my life. Yeah. And that's exactly very unique. Your theories will never be complex, for example. That's part of that Aries theme, you know. So all these themes that we look from the chart, and they're very unique ways I'm doing it now. I'm making it much more visual as the technology being available. So let me see. If people go to your website, astrotrends.net, they can go and sign up for this, this uh, your Astro Trends uh, astro, chart. Astro, cal astro Calendar. Yeah, astro, astro Calendar. Astro Calendar. It's the, there, my reports are there. Mm -hmm. One of the things I would suggest is when you click on the horoscope yeah. and it goes to that other page, there's a little thing that I've given there. You can actually put your birth date and put interpret. It will give you five planets right there, the interpretation of it. That's one thing. The second thing is I've given there for mental stress. If you click that, it will give you the exact uh, uh, times when each age group is susceptible. So I've given the whole age group there because it, uh, when Mars sets off your natal Neptune, it applies to the entire age group, not just, uh, uh, you know, one person. So the mental stress based on age groups I've given there, <coughs> every, every age group has that aspect. <coughs> so when you go to astrotrends.net, mm -hmm. they just go to the um, horoscope, and in the horoscope, you'll see, it will say uh, mental stress based on age group. You just click that, and it's all there. All right, Hassan, you and I have to take our final break for this hour. Show Nation, if you'd like to find out more about Hassan, if you'd like to subscribe to the Astro Calendar, just go to www.astrotrends.net and find out more about Let's, Let uh, Kids Dream. Visit letkidsdream.org. I'm Rob McConnell. This is The Excellent. We'll be back on the other side of this break with the news as we wrap up this hour from our broadcast center and studios in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Don't go away. here and they've been here for thousands of years making their presence known in the shadows. They might be seen by a lonely motorist on a deserted road late at night or by a frightened and confused husband in the bedroom he is sharing with his wife. But who are they? What do they want? Why are they here? Perhaps most concerning, has the government been aware of their presence all along? The new book by Ellie Marzulli, UFO Disclosure, The 70-Year Cover-Up Exposed, delves into the world of UFOs. Can full disclosure be soon? Order now and receive a free hour and 37-minute DVD on the UFO phenomenon, UFOs Are Real. Get both the book and the DVD, a $40 value, for only $19.99. To order your book and DVD today, go to lamarzuli.net. That's L-A-M-A-R-Z-U-L-L-I dot net. Christopher Fulton is a survivor of the National Security State. All he wanted to do was preserve history when he acquired a Cartier watch from the estate of President Kennedy's personal secretary. But that simple act set off a terrible chain reaction. He was pursued by the U.S. Justice Department and the FBI, thrust into the middle of the U.S. government's Assassination Records Review Board, even monitored and pursued by the Russian government. All because that Cartier watch was the missing link of evidence, a timepiece worn by JFK that fateful day in Dallas, a link resulting in Christopher being incarcerated and attacked for nine years 
Lions because he opened a hidden chapter in history. The intriguing journey outlined fully in Christopher Fulton's memoir, The Inheritance, is available now through Trinday.com or Amazon.com. The Inheritance, Poisoned Fruit of JFK's Assassination by Christopher and Michelle Fulton is a must-read, an incredible tale of how easily our own government can overrule justice. The Inheritance, Poisoned Fruit of JFK's Assassination. Don't forget Exxon Nation uh, here on the Exxon Broadcast Network. Some of our great shows include uh, Dr. Kevin Randall with A Different Perspective, Larry Lawson, Paranormal Stakeout, Connecting with Coincidence with Dr. Bernie Beitman, MD. We have Know the Name, Know the Genius in You with Sharon Lynn Wyeth. And uh, let me see Heart to Heart with Dan and Angela Clark, as well as Mission Evolution with Gwilda Wieck. A couple of new shows we have coming on starting in June includes Thomas Hydes and Cindy Hendricks. And we're looking forward to having many more shows joining us as the X Zone grows. We've got two new channels starting. We have um, an entrepreneur business channel starting. And we also have Revolution 50, which is targeted to those of us who are 50 years and over. For more information, visit www.xzbn.net. And for our TV channel, the X Zone TV channel, we're exclusive to Simul TV around the world at simultv.com. Hassan Jaffers, our special guest, www.astrotrends.net and letkidsdream.org. And what would a visit with Hassan be without kind of getting his, his, his astrological views on a few things? For example, what about President Trump? <laughs> you know, when Hillary was uh, going very, very high at that time, I predicted that he's going to be a two-time president. Mm -hmm. And I still hold that, by the way. Because his plans were the very bottom, just time to come up, but hers were coming completely down Yeah, that time. So uh, and it's a dangerous time when the plans are at the very bottom, so next time it'll be even higher. The problem there is, and I said that he'll be like a saint and a con artist put together. Mm -hmm. And the reason he'd be good for the business and all that, because he's also like the con artist. So if somebody, it takes one to know one. So when yeah. they make mistakes, he'll catch everybody also. And, but the problem is with that is that they trust the wrong people. And, you know, people don't realize that his mentor uh, or his pastor was Norman Vincent Peale. Very few people know that. And, and who was that? Uh, yeah, but you know when I said he, he was like a saint and a corner put together. Later mm -hmm. on, I found out that his, the middle name of his father was was Christ, or or, or uh, yeah, Christ, and the mother's name uh, was Mary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's but the real devil there to me is the six six six, the building number which mm -hmm. belongs to Jerry Kushner, their family. So that's where the all the problem comes in, and the real problem there is the John Bolton. Now, I'm not a fan of anybody, uh, all the politicians, but when I look at the chart, I look at the highest potential, the best potential first, all that aspect. And he has done a lot of good also, uh, Trump. Sure the problem has. is that when he wants to do something, there are all kinds of other forces which are preventing him from doing. So people don't see the real side mm -hmm. uh, at all. And, uh, for example, you know, he wants to get out of Syria. He said that we have no business being there and all this name change and all that. And the entire Congress, everybody, Senate, and all that were against him. And within one week, they approved $700 billion for the Pentagon for war, for all the, the things. It's so amazing, you know. So uh, he does not want a war uh, with Iran. And another thing which is happening, which don't, uh, a lot of people don't realize. You remember when, uh, when uh, it was your show, actually, that I predicted about the tsunami uh, in Japan, that underwater earthquakes uh, creating the tsunami. And we were not even like a day off in that point. When you, the last day, one of the things I had said earlier is the last day when uh, Uranus is in Pisces, which happens once in 84 years. And that's the ocean. And that happened. And then, uh, the, then my next, uh, next year, my other prediction came true that there'll be a nuclear explosion. And the Fukushima happened. Now, now, Uranus, now till March, Uranus was in Aries. That nuclear thing was a, a possibility. But now it's in the sign of Taurus. It's completely gone. So there's going to be no nuclear war, nothing. I guarantee this aspect. The second thing is that Taurus represents anything which is old and time-tested. So uh, uh, a lot of things are changing, and it's also the banking industry and all that. So the Bitcoin is completely going to change. And that is, for example, Iran and Russia and all, when they start using Bitcoins, all the U.S. dollars and all that, nobody can even trace that. 
So that is one major revolution that is happening. Uranus being the sign of Taurus, it's going to be for seven years. It's going to stay there. It's once in 84-year transit. And that is that is starting very, very soon now. And the countries will go on that and bank, banking industry, everybody. Now, uh, on June 14th, for example, there's a Mars-Saturn opposition in the sky. It's a dangerous aspect. It's very volatile. It's a... And moon is in, in the sign of Scorpio, but uh, like a violent aspect, intrigues mm-hmm. and all that. So there are certain times when there'll be all the war rhetoric and all that will be very max. Uh, I mean, at its maximum. So a few days before and after that, uh, June 14th, and the next uh, time is October 27th. Um, so there are certain times when that Mars, Saturn, Pluto, these are the volatile aspects and war aspects around the world when they happen. You know, but generally I don't see any of the war or anything at all in Iran. But, but Trump's case is so predictable. Every time Moon goes in the sign of cancer, uh, you know, he always says some stupid thing at that time or something happens at that time. Mm-hmm. And I'll just give you one uh, example. For example, when Moon is in the sign of cancer and he becomes very emotional and all that. And his Venus and Saturn, everything is in uh, cancer. Maybe that's why. So uh, the next time it is on June the, June the 4th for about two days. July 1st for two days, and Ju- uh, July 29th for two days. And you can actually check this, that, whether it's true or not, you know, when it happens. The Vladimir Putin's chart is amazing this year. He's also coming into a major new seven-year cycle, and very similar to Imran Khan of Pakistan. But, uh, uh, and he, he definitely has a spying aspect, but it's like a Saint and a Kornash's theme. And it's really interesting that every politician nowadays, whether you take the, the father Trudeau, the son Trudeau, Obama, uh, Clinton, everyone has a Mercury Neptune in a negative way. So, in other words, uh, where they cannot separate truth from fantasy, or they say something and they start believing it. So, this is a hallmark of all the politicians these days, it seems. Luckily, you and I are born with a, uh, with a Mercury Neptune in a positive way, where we can outsmart the crooks without being one. Very important distinction. But they, they, these people cannot really, they really start believing what they're saying, mm-hmm. actually. How about, uh, you know, you mentioned briefly Trudeau, and, uh, you know, we're coming up to a federal election here in Canada in October, uh, November, October, November. What do you, you think is going to happen in that political arena? October, November. You know, I haven't looked at anybody's charts. I just know that his chart has got a lot of Sagittarius planets, um, uh, Trudeau. Mm-hmm. And, but he also has that Mercury-Neptune, which gives not really mental problem, but, uh, you know, that they cannot separate truth from fantasy or they trust right. the wrong people. But if it's in October, Jupiter will be in Capricorn at that time. Right now it's in Sagittarius, which is like, uh, uh, you know, for, for Trudeau, it's, it's a good aspect. But he is a Capricorn, actually. Plus also that represents the government, just like in. So I think he will uh, come back now. Same thing with uh, Modi, for example. Modi's chart was not good at all. His plans were the very bottom. But it's interesting that I saw uh, um, the chart of the BJP party. It's a radical party, but they have Moon in Sagittarius, which is exactly getting touched up by Jupiter till October. So the entire BJP party, uh, you know, gained from that. It's a very interesting thing when it was conceived by Atul Bahari, the, uh, you know, the, the, the charge of, of that uh, party itself. So it was very interesting to, to see that Rahul's, all the planets are down, but in about a year, two years' time, they start moving up. So I think after October, then they'll really find out that Modi will not be as, as popular at all. But sometimes, so the party was uh, gaining. That's why the whole party won, rather than they think it's an agenda for Modi, uh, whose many policies have completely failed, actually. All right, we've got about um, a minute and a half left, uh, Hassan. I, once again, can you tell our listeners more about Let Kids Be, Let Kids Dream and how they can get involved? Well, uh, Let Kids Dream, I would love to, you know, I, I'm going to be starting where people will be able to log in and they'd be able to, right now they can, they could donate to our cause. Even though Facebook is also Let Kids Dream. Mm-hmm. And there we can start discussing all the things and uh, people have any autism or geniuses or musicians, all these themes, we will need their help, and especially mental problems and all that. I'd like to do that. And all that money, 100%, by the way, nothing goes to me. It's all for the, just for research. And so we make all these databases available to them. And if you want to understand yourself, the Astro Calendar is one of the best pro- products that I uh, a person would recommend just for yourself, to understand yourself, to also compare yourself with other people. Like, for example, what we call synastry mm-hmm. in your relationships also, that how you can improve that or to find out what you've been heard from each parent and all the reports, forecasts, everything is in it. Yeah. We've got, we've, you know, what, would you, what are your final thoughts that you'd like to share with the Exxon Nation tonight? What would you like them to know? That is so important that they would, that 
that astrology would make an important change in their life? What would that be? Well, without astrology, it's impossible to understand your own talents, the highest potential. Mm -hmm. Some people are gifted. It's very easy uh, to find it. But most people do need, they just take a humdrum job. Like everything I do, I absolutely love. And that's very important. Right. That, and that passion, and not to be insecure that, for example, that if you are, if you're an engineer, for example, and, uh, you know, mm -hmm. doing a, uh, uh, you know, waiter's job, for example, I mean, you don't really have to, you, you can, you can clean the compressors, that's fine, it's within, within your line. Sure. Stick to what you love and the passion, the hobbies. And that's what astrology is fantastic in. And that's why I said unlock mm -hmm. nature's most closely guarded secrets, your inner timing. And that's what I've tried to make available in simplest terms in my astro calendar. All right, Hassan, let our listeners know how they can find out more about you and uh, how they can get, a, get one of their very own astro calendars. Uh, yes, if they go to astrotrends.net, it's there. I have another site, astrocycles.net, and uh, you'll find all my products there as well. You can always call us on our uh, toll-free 1-800-380-6121. I should probably give you my main number, which is 416-497-9000, and... Um, We'll try to help as many people as we can. All right, Hassan, I want to thank you so much for joining us. Take care of yourself. And uh, once again, Exo Nation, if you'd like to find out more about Hassan, www.astrotrends.net. And let me see, letkidsdream.org. I'll be back on the other side of this commercial break with the news at six and a half minutes past the top of the hour as the Exo continues with yours truly, Rob McConnell, from our broadcast center and studios. Here in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. If you'd like to send me an email, love getting your comments, good, bad, or indifferent. W, uh, let me see. Xzone at xzoneradiotv.com. And for all the programming available on the Xzone Broadcast Network, www.xzbn.net. We'll be back on the other side of this break. Don't go away. If you are looking for a safe, zero-calorie, natural option to the harmful artificial sweeteners on the market today, Just Like Sugar is what you're looking for. Just Like Sugar is a wonderful natural alternative for those health-conscious people who choose a calorie-restricted diet with a great, pure, sweet flavor that tastes just like sugar. Just Like Sugar is a great natural option for people suffering from diabetes and may be useful in restricted diet programs where standard sugars are not allowed and does not cause a laxative effect of some other sweeteners. Just Like Sugar comprises a perfect blend of chicory root fiber, natural calcium, natural vitamin C, and Just Like Sugar sweetness comes from the natural flavors from the peel of the orange. Just Like Sugar is a natural alternative to harmful artificial sweeteners and will change the way that you believe all natural sweetener products taste. Just Like Sugar is available at your local Whole Foods markets, Wild Oats markets, Henry's, Sun Harvest, and many other fine natural food stores in the U.S., Canada, and worldwide. They are here, and they've been here for thousands of years, making their presence known in the shadows. They might be seen by a lonely motorist on a deserted road late at night, or by a frightened and confused husband in the bedroom he is sharing with his wife. But who are they? What do they want? Why are they here? Perhaps most concerning, has the government been aware of their presence all along? The new book by Ellie Marzulli, UFO Disclosure, The 70-Year Cover-Up Exposed, delves into the world of UFOs. Can full disclosure be soon? Order now and receive a free hour and 37-minute DVD on the UFO phenomenon, UFOs Are Real. Get both the book and the DVD, a $40 value, for only $19.99. To order your book and DVD today, go to lamarzuli.net. That's L-A-M-A-R-Z-U-L-L-I dot net. You have heard of the X-Zone? Now watch it on Simo TV, plus 500 video games, live TV channels, free video on demand, worldwide, and more. Does this sound like tomorrow's television? Well, it is, but you can have it today, right now. It is Simul TV. 
Simul TV offers what the others only wish they could provide. 15 exclusive channels like X-Zone, Sci-Fi, and Horror. We are worldwide. No other provider offers that. 500 built-in video games. No need to have an extra expensive system. We have them included. Free video on demand. Live streaming events from around the world. Interactive online network and much more. Tomorrow's TV today. Simul TV. Sound too good to be true? Well, it's not. You can have Simul TV today. Sign up at simultv.com. Do it today.